Creepy mirror reveals truth. For years, I lived in an old two-story house that had a strange peculiarity. Every night at exactly 3.33 a.m., there would be three soft knocks at the front door. The first time it happened, I thought it was just some prankster kids, but when I got to the door, no one was there. I brushed it off as wind or some random noise, but as days turned into weeks, the knocks persisted, always three, always at 3.33 a.m. It became part of my routine, a macabre alarm clock that served no purpose but to remind me of the unexplainable. One night, I decided to wait by the door, determined to catch whoever or whatever was responsible. As the clock hit 3.33, right on cue, the knocks sounded, but this time, they weren't coming from the front door. Confused, I began searching the house, following the sound of the knocks. They seemed to be coming from the basement. As I descended the creaky wooden stairs, I noticed a faint light coming from a corner of the dark room. There, buried in the dirt floor, was an old, rusted metal door. The knocks were coming from inside. My heart pounded as I reached out to open the door, the cold metal handle sending shivers down my spine. The door creaked open, revealing a small, decrepit room. Inside, there was a single wooden chair and an old, dusty mirror hanging on the wall. The mirror reflected the room, but something was different. The chair in the reflection wasn't empty. There, staring back at me, was a grotesque, distorted version of myself, its hand raised, knocking three times on the mirror's surface. As the realization hit me, the figure in the mirror grinned widely, its eyes glowing with a malicious delight. The knocks hadn't been coming from the front door or the basement, they were coming from inside the mirror, from inside me.